trying to get out. Look, Jesus, there's so many of them. Michael, I'm sorry. Aldo... Aldo was family. I can help. When we get back to New York... I want you to make sure his mother's taken care of. Okay, Mikey. Okay. What do we do now? Roth's plan for Cuba was the one thing keeping the families from tearing at each other's throats. We needed this country. You don't think the rebels are gonna win? They've already won, Fredo. Michael, I mean, what do we do now? Our family, what about us? Nobody was going to touch New York while Aldo was in charge. Everyone will want a peace now. His own men will probably turn on each other if they think it's to their advantage. It's only a few of them I trust anyway. But I trust you with my life. Dominic, I want you to be boss, and I want you to have your own family. I trust that you can run New York, Dominic. Will you do this for me? Yes, Michael. I will. Six Tony weeks Tony Carmine later. Rosado are out. Out for good. Took what they had, started their own gangs. Took what we had? It's Hyman Roth in Florida. He's backing up those sons of bitches. The Rosados never had the Colleoni. And now what? They're taking over, taking hostages. Not without help. Not without Roth. Frank, Hyman Roth isn't a part of this. Mikey's right, Frank. The Rosado brothers always been angry. Ever since Clemenza died? Been... No. No. That was no heart attack. In any case, that's the situation. We know they're running sanitation and construction, and we know Carmine's fixing fights. Yeah, and who's too? Ain't that Roth's game? And La Vegana? Junk? Dope? I want him dead! Frank! Frank Pentangeli. You've been loyal to this family for years. I know, Michael. But after Cuba, my business with Hyman Roth is very important. These accusations aren't fair to him or me. Fair? You give your loyalty to him before your own blood? Come on, Frankie. You know my father did business with Hyman Roth. He respected him. Your father did business with Hyman Roth. Your father respected Hyman Roth. But your father never trusted Hyman Roth. Are you through? Good. Dominic, stay focused on the Rosado brothers. Carmine's weak. Always has been. Send him a message. Prove to me that I was right about you. I'll guard the door. Okay. Dominic. Enough cutscenes for now. Hopefully. Well, no. Frank, I'm gonna take care of Carmine Rosado. Let me deal with him. Of course you will. You're the boss, and Carmine's a Stugatz. Couldn't find his ass if he was sitting on his two Stats. hands. But that stupid bum's got half of New York. Don't that tell you something? That someone's pulling his strings? Maybe. But whoever it is, it ain't Roth. And Carmine's men are still loyal to him. Well, loyalty counts. For something. Even with the Rosado brothers. It means something to me too, Frank. I can't take on Carmine by myself. I need people. People that I can trust. Do you have any loyal button men that I could enlist? Sure, Dominic. I drove here with a few associates. They're good men. They've all earned their bones. I think they're ready to be made. You'd be doing one of them an honor if you choose to bring him into your family. Yeah. Let me ask you something. You looking to be part of something big? I'm not too dumb, and I'm not too smart. I know what I know. You know? <laughs> What's your story? Tell me about yourself. I got customers I never laid a hand on. I mean, the threat of a fight is more powerful than a fight itself, right? Because you get a guy believing that you're gonna tattoo his face, and he'll pay. Know any good tricks of the trade? Well, I got shot as a kid, cleaning out a hardware store. 
And after that, I made sure I knew how to patch myself up. You really want me? Because I'm ready to work. I like you. You're in. Welcome to the family. So let me ask you something. What Frank was saying earlier, do you believe it? About Mr. Roth and the Rosados? Nah, Frankie's a good enforcer, but he can't see things like Mike can. Mr. Roth's been good to us, always has been. Whatever you're doing, finish it quick, okay? Frank's a good man, but his temper can be a problem. These accusations about Hyman Roth have to stop. They're insulting to us both. I'll keep an eye on him. Don't worry. Good. Dominic, just remember to stay focused. You're boss now. Make a name for yourself. Let Carmine know that you run New York. Organized crime is like any other profession. The key to success is crushing the competition. This is your goal. Take over every racket and every business, and eliminate any rival family who stands in your way. What's stopping you? The other families will ruthlessly defend their turf and try to take back places that you control. You can't stop them by yourself. If you want to win, expand your family, improve your crew member's skills, and hire guards to protect your territory. And most importantly, learn to use the bonuses you'll earn from controlling crime rings. Do this, and you'll know what it means to be called the Don. Okay, let's do this. Hey, something looks If we can knock off one of Carmine's rackets, it'll break his hold on the cop. Let's hit Carmine where it'll hurt the most, his brothels. And those damn whorehouses are giving him too much influence anyway. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with the cat house, the one fronted by that bacon. Bad luck, Cap. Can we stop? Come Lead back, on, boss. In our life, the key to success is intimidation. Intimidation. A dead man is useless to us, but turn up the pressure, and you'll have the upper hand. Everyone's got two points. The point that he'll break, and the point he'll fight back. Pressure a man past his breaking point, and he'll do whatever you want. Getting him there takes some creativity. Throw him around, maybe. Show him the view. And with some men, the more you push them, the more you'll profit. Or you can find their weak spot. Everyone's got one. Push someone too far, though, and you'll have a fight on your hands. Or worse, a dead body. But this isn't the end of the world. You can leave and try again later. Just like in real life. Don't come any closer, Mac. All right. You gonna let me through? Get your ugly mug out of my joint. <laughs> What's it gonna be? Let me through, or I am gonna cut a permanent smile on that pretty face of yours. No way, man. Members only. Last oh, one. What? You don't know who you're dealing with. You want right, me to stomp your up. face? My, my huh? customers are good if people. you don't let me Leave back there right now, gonna I'm going to cap you in the knee. And guess what will happen if you refuse a second time? Okay, okay. I'll let you through. Try, motherfucker. PG-13. <sighs> Gotta go through here. <laughs> All right, bitch. Lay off, man. No one runs a racket in this city without giving me a cut of the action. Got it? Think you can muscle in on my racket? Fuck you. 
How fucking dare you! I'll pay! What you Bitch! Do you willing to die for this shithole? Cause that's what's gonna happen. Okay, the racket's yours. Just lay off of me, alright? The lifeblood of organized crime is our rackets. Rackets are where we make most of our money. Control one and it'll pay you every day. But each racket is part of a bigger business. We call this a crime ring. There are all kinds of crime rings out there. Prostitution, gun smuggling, chop shops, and each one is made up of two or more rackets. Whoever controls every racket in the crime ring is gonna be flush with cash. But more importantly, they'll receive a special bonus like bulletproof vests or armored cars. These bonuses are key to building an empire. You know this, and your enemies know this. So don't expect them to cooperate next time you pay them a visit. Let's jump in! Should've stayed in school, asshole. Get me scared, you make money on the floor. Five hundred. Each guard is a hundred. I say we put three hundred or three guards. Three hundred guards. God. It's a big guy. Guard. Curtain call for you, punk. You. I see him. Motherfucker. You're fired. Come on. We're going on a little. Field trip, let's call it that. Fight! Come on, let's go. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay. Oh, you're gonna fight? You're gonna fight, huh? Fight. I need to talk to you. He's coming! Run! Let's jump in! I done with you. But now I Only am. Only gags make money on the floor. Yeah, what he said. Ah, the pussy here ain't bad. But if I was running the place, it'd be making ten times what it's pulling in now. It's got potential. Like you. You're real boss material, Dominic. What's your next move? I want to bring in more income. Keep this place guarded. And take Carmine down a few notches while I'm at it. That's a good plan. Yeah. Be an earner. Best bet is to launder some money through a legit business. A bar, a restaurant, uh, whatever. Cut a deal with a shopkeeper. He'll throw a little your way, and you'll get a bigger cut from your rackets. You worked with the Rosado brothers back in Clemenza's day. What do you know about them? They used to be friendly to us. But Tony always thought he deserved more. Him turning I can understand, but Carmine, he's a stupid fuck. Must be out of his mind if he thinks he can be a Don. Anything else you can tell me? Sure, but keep this between you and me. I don't like what's happened to this city. I work with Don Vito, I work with Clemenza, and I don't have to tell you they deserve respect. But it's like these last ten years, they don't mean nothing. My gang's across the bridge, scraping by, and the families here recruit scum. They recruit filth. They got no respect for how we do business. It ain't right. Extortion used to be an enforcer's game, hitting up merchants for spare change. Today, the stakes are higher. You already know the basics. Find a small store and rough up the owner. To pay you what he can, it's not much, but every little bit counts. Here's the important part, though. Once you control a place, it acts as a front. Fronts can launder money earned from your rackets. Each one you control gives you a bonus to your entire income. To get a merchant to play along, you gotta pressure him. Slam him into a wall, throw him through a window. Maybe smash up his store, or rough up his customers. Sometimes you have to show him who's boss. Just remember, it's only business.